Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing another glam video and today I'm going to be doing a smoky glam. Now, for the longest time I've been doing makeup and I've never once done a smoky eye. And a smoky eye is literally like one of the most major part of your makeup routine. Like, there's either a bronzed eye glam and then there's a smoky eye and I have never done a smoky eye so today we're going on the journey together. I have done a few other glam videos in the past um, such as my Halloween glam that was right at the start of my YouTube channel. I also done a Christmas glam, turned myself into a Vogue model, I also done a bronze goddess makeup look. Um, if you want to go and see them I will link them down below. If you do like this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and do that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And also if you want to go and follow me on more platforms my Instagram is underscoremakeupblove.xo now I really just fancied chilling with you guys and just putting makeup on my face. I haven't done a few like, you know, like full on like foundation and everything for, for like a hot minute. So without further ado, let's dive straight into today's brand new video. <laughs> Now, if you are wondering, I haven't been posting a lot of videos recently. That is because my camera broke because I dropped it and dented the lens in. So, thank you to my gorgeous granny. Um, I got a new lens. So, thank you. Love you so much. So, for the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prime today. I don't hardly ever prime but because I'm putting like makeup and everything you know foundation and everything I want to make sure my skin is hydrated so I'm gonna go in with my this works primer this is the in transit camera close-up I love this one now I haven't dipped into this for quite some time so I'm gonna dip into it again as it was um, quite expensive um, this might be, this is too light for me, let's just put that out there. So, um, I'm gonna have to bronze it up pretty good. So this is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. If you've never heard of this, go and check it out. It's really, really good, but you have to get, like, this in control. Otherwise, it will go every way, like, literally. And if I do this, it doesn't look as the best. So you have to be in control of the, like the spray. This actually makes your skin look really, really pretty. The only downfall I have is that this is a little bit too white. Um, for concealer, I'm gonna dip into my ordinary foundation. I've actually been really loving this. Like I've kind of been trailing back to this. Like even when I had my favorite L'Oreal Infallible, like I still go back to this one. For my, just under my eyes, because this is getting a little bit, um, what's it called? Crease, you know, crease-like. I'm gonna take my Max Factor Cream Puff in the shade Truly Fair, and this little angled brush is actually a really cute and like practical little brush. And I'm just gonna kind of set this under here. This is like an itty bitty little sponge and I'm just gonna take it and just really pack it under there so we can get a really smooth under eye. And I'm gonna take some of my teas on as well. This face needs some bronzing up. 
So I'm going to take the NYX Cream Contour Kit, my favourite one, and just cream contour. Okay, the cream contouring is done. Now I want to set my face with more powder to lock that in place. So I'm gonna go in with my Benefit um, powder. Now this is just a normal Benefit powder but I just have a different packaging. Like you can still get the same powder but with different packaging. I look pretty powdery, so I'm gonna take some of my Marbadescu um, cucumber spray. I'm actually running low on this one. <laughs> That's how much I love them. Um, I kind of want to do the skin and really like make sure I'm bronzed and everything. Make sure I've got really pretty skin. I'm then gonna bronze my skin up using my Hoola by Benefit bronzer and this um, brush. Brill. I am all bronzed. I'm then going to go in with my Marbadesi spray again to lock everything in place. Time for blush and I'm going to use the, um, I can't believe I've like hit pan on this because I love this so much. This is the Estee Lauder Peach Passion Shimmer Pure Colour Blush. Um, I'm going to take some of my Rosie Photograph highlighter and highlight the face. Um, now it's time for eyebrows and the eyebrow um, stuff that I'm going to use is the Primark to conceal the eyebrows I'm gonna take some of my ordinary foundation my ordinary foundation that I used as concealer and just conceal under them instead of on top of them Anyways, I'm gonna set my eyebrows with Gimme Brow. Cause there's some areas in my brows that I wanted a bit of extra coverage. 
Anyways, I am leaning towards the Sultry palette for this look because it incorporates the shade, like I wanna do this um, like silvery shade over here, um, right on bang there. Maybe I might even wanna do a bronze or something, but I really love this pearl as well and the silver from this palette. I'm obviously gonna dip into the black shade Noir. I'm actually not gonna dip into my James Charles palette for a change. Um, but I'm going to dip into the shade Twig, this one right here, in Dystopian, this one right here. Those are the shades that I'm going to tend to go into. So I think this palette is perfect. Now if you want to go and see my review on the Anastasia Bobby Hills palette, um, I will link that down below. I loved filming that. Um, it was my first ever like review video, kind of. Um, but yes, I did love this. I kind of want to go in with like a darker browny black over here and then kind of blend it up with some like orangey browny tones. That's the like kind of look I'm feeling. First shade I'm gonna take is the shade Twig, which is the browny shade, like how pigmented. Anyways, this is this like browny shade. And I'm just gonna sit and blend it all out this has like a mauvey, purpley undertone, I feel. I really sat and fluffed this shadow out. Like really? Okay, I'm actually gonna take the shade Birch, which is like the orangey, like more warm tone shade. Well, not warm, but toned. I have no idea but it's birch and that's what I'm going in with and I'm going in at the top of my shadow. This could be a whole entire mistake but girl we're doing it. Okay, so that's like blended up a little bit. You can't really tell I've added birch at all. It's just kind of all smudged in together. The, third, the next shade I'm gonna take is the shade Dystopian. And this is just gonna kind of pack all over a little bit. want a little bit of warmth instead of all like black if you know what I mean. I honestly cannot stay out of my James Charles palette. So for that I'm going to dip into my James Charles X Morphe palette and I'm going to take the shade. I kind of want to take the shade like 10% off and blend that where the other shades were supposed to go. Well did go but didn't do anything. liking how this is looking and that dystopian on the lid the dark dark brown shade actually looks like black but yeah I kind of love how this looks with like the two different tones going on now I don't I don't think I want to add any black and um, but what I do want to do is take oh Anyways, I'm going to take the tiniest bit of Dystopian and run that under my lower lash line, but only halfway. Then I'm going to take the shade 10% off again and just like blend it out like I did on the top of the eyes.
don't worry about this bit in here because we are going to put shimmer over that. Um, I think I'm going to go into the shade probably like Cyborg. Do you think that would look pretty cute? Or either like... See, I'm just not sure because I don't know if I want a shimmer. Or maybe I could just go in with like... Maybe like Teak. Oh, yes. I'm going to go in with the shade Teak from the Sultry palette. Um, I'm going to then... I'm, blah, 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 blah. I'm then <laughs> going to take the shade Cinder, I think. And just do that on like the middle bit. Or just, just go over the top of it. And we do have a tiny bit of fallout, so we're just gonna flick that away. And then I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny little brush. And highlight my inner corner using the shade Pearl. Now I'm using a brush, so I feel like the best way to get the maximum pigment out of these shadows is to definitely like touch them with the brush and then go in with like a setting spray or a Mamdesu spray. And this just brings out the pigment and I love it. I definitely, like my James Charles palette and my Sultry palette is definitely um, my two favorite palettes ever. I'm then gonna do a brow bone highlight before we ever do this. I've never done anything as dark as this before, but I feel like it's looking really pretty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, wow, my lips look look really pink. Um, that is because I have just wiped the foundation off them. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go off camera, do mascara lashes in the other eye, and I'll be right back to show you the final look and do the lips. See you in a little bit. So these are how the eyes are looking. I absolutely love these. Like honestly, even the lashes, I think they look really pretty. I don't, like honestly, I think they are pretty smoky. And I love the two toned between the warm and the deep tones. I love that and I love the shimmer from the Sultry palette. That looks stunning. But anyways, the last thing we need to do is lips. Now, I was debating when I was putting my eyelashes on whether I do a red lip or a nude lip. Now, I'm gonna go in with red and the red I'm gonna go in with is the new one I have just got. Um, this is by Estee Lauder and I love these lipsticks because like, hello, a little mirror at the front. Anyways, um, this is the Pure Color Envy um, lipstick in the shade Envious. Now, this is what it looks like. Might be a whole mistake, but we are doing it. So I'm gonna apply this lipstick. This lipstick is really great. Um, SA Lord, I do have a great range of pure color products out there. Um, my blush is pure color. I believe they have like pure envy and stuff like that. Yeah, this is one of the ranges of these. And um, I think those are the bronzers. I'm not too sure. Go and have a look, because honestly, the formulas and everything are amazing. The balm, the, I cannot express to you how good the lipsticks and blushes are. Go and check them out. complete I love how the looks turned out and I know that I know I say that in every single video but honestly I really do mean it like I didn't think I could create something as nice as this and um, it kind of reminds me of like a new year's eve like look 
like this is the kind of thing that people would wear for New Year's Eve. I don't know, but I think they do. <laughs> Anyways, um, I do love how this turned out and if you stayed at the end of the video, thank you so much for tuning in and enjoying it. Well, I hope you have. And if you have, don't forget to show your support by like, comment, subscribing. And do click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And also go and follow my Instagram, which is unscomakebelove.xo. But um, if you want to see more glam videos, um, please comment it down below because I would love to hear your feedback. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Bye everyone.